We have a special thrill this evening because in honoring the next person, uh, he, a pleasant surprise to us all, brought along his mother. And so before I say a word or two about Thomas Hale Boggs, Jr., I want to acknowledge the presence of his mother, Ambassador Lindy Boggs, who uh, was the fifth United States Ambassador to the Holy See, a great lady. You know, in Washington circles, and I've lived here for a few years, when we say the name Patton Boggs, the way we're referring. I would just like to say that uh, Ambassador Lindsay, Lindy Boggs, she's one of the greatest ambassadors ever. And if you would please take these roses as a sign of your service. And Tim, would you bring them over to the ambassador, please? I came to Washington quite a few years ago as a student, but I soon learned that the name Patton Boggs meant something. It's referring to an American law firm headquartered here in Washington, D.C., noted for its integrity and for its excellence. Also the fact that my roommate of about 40-some years served at Patton Boggs. I know how great the place is. Your remnants. And dear friends, it's now an honor for me to present the chairman of the executive committee of that firm, Thomas Hale Boggs, Jr. Thank you to my friend of Tom Malady. He's been a good friend for a long time. Uh, Your Excellency, um, our Italian host, it's been a lovely dinner. Uh, Ambassador Diaz, distinguished guest, and fellow honorees. The good news is, I'm the last honoree. <laughs> the, um, but of the honorees, Ed Malloy was a client of ours for a long time. Dee Smith was my law partner for a good while. And I'm not going to embarrass Elizabeth Bagley, but uh, Chuck, former Ambassador Chuck Bonat and I met her when she was in law school. And we nicknamed her Gorgeous. And we've called her that ever since, even though she's now one of the leading foreign policy experts in Washington. So I am very happy to be a, among the crowd of honorees. When uh, President Clinton nominated a mother to be ambassador to the Vatican, he also nominated a guy named Tom Foglietta, who was a congressman from Philadelphia to be ambassador to Italy. And they had their confirmation hearing the same day before the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations. And Senator Specter introduced Congressman Foglietta and he concluded his remarks about the congressman's capabilities by saying, and he speaks fluent Italian. Well, Senator John Bro introduced my mother, and he concluded his speech by saying, Lindy Boggs speaks fluent Catholic. <laughs> and I must say that uh, uh, Christina Cox and Tim Barton speak fluent Catholic. What they're doing for the, for the church and for the arts is spectacular. I think we ought to give them a big hand for speaking to them. Thank you. And um, I am very pleased to accept the award, and I know you all are very pleased that I'm the last speaker. So thank you.